Well, have you ever wanted to be a painter? Painter passing through. Well, it may never happen, to be honest with you. I mean, <laughs> don't want to be pessimistic or anything. But if you have Photoshop elements, you can definitely fake it. Faking, faking it in this case might be the best way to go. So, go into View and Organize Photos and take a crisp photo something that you want to make it look like an oil painting and we're going to open it and give it a very textured oily canvasy look so I'm going to choose the close up of the cars remember this we used it before from the samples folder I'm going to pull it into the editor and we're going to add a few different filters to get our desired look. All right, there it is. The fills first, boy, the first filter we're going to add. We're going to do brush strokes, angled strokes. Gives you a nice little preview here to the left. Um, start, you can adjust the direction balance, the stroke length, and the sharpness until you get the effect that you want. Um, I'm going to want shorter strokes. See, the longer the strokes, um, let me show you. The blurrier it gets. It's as if you had a giant brush and you're stroking. So in this case, I like a shorter strokes. And then how sharp do you want it? Do you want the strokes to be more blurred? Like so? Would you rather be they be sharper? I personally like the sharper look. Maybe not completely sharp. Let's try something in between. I think that looks pretty good. Once you get it to how you want it, you can also uh, choose from a wide variety here. But we chose angled strokes. And we're going to click OK. Once you get this how you want it, it's completely to taste. Hit OK. And now we're going to add a texturizer to it. So go to Filter texture texturizer and let's pick canvas and now we can decide how much of a scaling we want or how much those little dots we want see like so see how it looks like a canvas relief now this yeah, in this case, we want a low relief. We don't want the, the little beads to look like they're standing up too much. So, once you get it how you want it, click OK. And there we have what looks like a more detailed canvas painting of some old cars. So you can add this effect, experiment with it, um, to any number of uh, images to give a uh, false impression that you are an oil painter. So, if you can't do it in real life, Photoshop Elements is the place to do it.